Param, pão, param, pão. Whatever, George, or hey, whatever. Nope. What's this from there? All right, let's see if. Jesus, he's dead. Here I was, ready to spit in his eye, and he... Hold on, that's blood. A small caliber headshot. Very clean. Professional. There's nobody here. Somebody was after him. Why would they go to the trouble when he was on his deathbed? Mm. What the hell have you gotten me into here? Did he say anything about the stash? Did he mention other interested parties? What the fuck is going on here? Uh, the first one, second one, the third one, uh, that one. Most bounty hunters are sloppy and stupid. To the untrained eye, that would fit. But I'm telling you, it was a precision shot made by a professional. I say we walk out of here and forget about this entire thing. It isn't worth the trouble. Yeah, no telling me. For the record, I think this is a mistake. But a deal is a deal, and I can't stomach the idea of you claiming that loot without me. I want to tool up before we do anything else. Let's head back to Westside, and then we'll start off for the bunker. I... It's, uh... Show what kind of men we really are. That being said, I'm not a very nice man. And I drink from toilets. Does this sink any better? No. But I should do it while I have the chance. I think that'll do. Well, this is an auspicious occasion. I thought I was looking for a generic messenger, not the courier. Quite a reputation you've developed in the Mojave. Uh, yeah, is that so? What do you want? The late Mr. Sellers had a certain key in his possession that was given to you. Apparently, Mr. Sellers neglected to inform you of his contractual obligation to my employer. The aforementioned key was to be passed to my employer upon Sellers' death. You could call it life insurance. Unfortunately, Mr. Sellers elected to break the contract as he employed you to deliver the key to Mr. Bradley. This is a problem. I will not mince words, Courier. I know full well your reputation, your abilities, but I require that key. Mm. I'm not giving up the key. I've met hobos with more attitude than you. Now get out of my face before you hurt yourself. You fuck. I'll... I'll... Fuck! I'll cut your kidney! Oh, yeah? Zip zap, motherfucker! That's gross. And fucking beautiful. I like it. This is what happens when you fuck with me, Delilah. I fling you into a wall. God damn it. We are now in a storm of fuck, my friend. 
Yeah. That guy was syndicate. No doubt about it. Connected and dangerous. Fuck my life. Syndicate wanted the key that badly. The stash must be something special. Exactly. It, we're already on their hit list, so we may as well follow through and find those keys. We've got nothing to lose now. Basically. The letter specified the coordinates for a place called Linus Cavern, located in the Mesquite Mountains. Yeah, let's see what we can find there. Okay, we can do that <laughs> later. Fuck! I know, that was pretty funny. Show him. Dick. Yeah. Alright. That's that's enough for right now, Bradley. Don't don't you worry though. Don't worry. We'll we'll get that shit. Look at her glowing eyes. No. This sounds like the music in Majora's Mask when the alien people come out. My wraiths are visible. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Fucking daytime. Fuck. Did you guys see that? I almost fucking died. Mm. Neat. Annie? It's bullshit. Manny, I need to eat. So I'm going to eat all of the scrolls. <clears throat> There's something. I swear to God. Why did I do this to myself? I've just spent like two extra minutes wasting my time on that. But what the fuck ever, Holmes? We're gonna go wandering and see if we can get us to uh, Nellis. Um, I think it's like right around here ish. Something like that. Better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Uh, 30. I can do that. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Uh, let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. 
I'm gonna fucking kick If you this make guy's it back alive, up. I'll double your money. Uh, sure. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. And if I don't, I die. So I'm gonna save, because I think that's wise. Okay. Northwest side of town. there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Uh, run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Not move Bradley. a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Uh, I didn't come here to attack you. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Mm, what's a Master at Arms? I oversee the security of the Nellis Homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. Uh, all right. Follow close and mind your behavior. Neat. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Uh, how might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Uh, speech 20 thing. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers, my youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to, and Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. <laughs> 